Hi, this is Squat, and in this video, I'm going to tell you about tissue repair. Okay, so this is your tissue, and suppose there's damage right here, and uh, they are the tissue cells, but this damage will mess them up. And when this happens, the blood vessels around this place will start to leak. A lot of the new things will come in here to uh, react to this damage. Platelets will form a wall, immune cells come in, and immune cells will get rid of the mess in this region. And this is inflammation. And when inflammation is done, you'll end up with this vacant space, and the cells around it will try to fill that vacant space. And this filling of a vacant space is tissue repair. Depending on the cell type that is gone, the repair process is going to be different. There are different cell types. First one is called a lay-by cell. Lay-by cells are cells fully differentiated. They'll be used up and they'll be gone. When this happens, no problem. Stem cell of that tissue can replenish this lay-by cell. And in fact, they are always, even without damage, being used up and shed. And stem cells are always making new cells to replace the dead ones. And the next cell type is called a stable cell. And stable cell is also differentiated doing work of that tissue. And there is a stem cell, but stem cell will not make new ones constantly. But when this cell dies or there's some kind of damage, then stem cell can make a new progenitor cell, which will eventually become this uh, working differentiated cell. And the last one is the permanent cell. Again, here's a cell doing the work fully differentiated, but there's no stem cell that can regenerate this cell. If this cell breaks down, you're out of luck. There's no replenishment of this cell. But what happens when you have a permanent cell tissue and this permanent cell dies? What happens is you'll end up with, again, a vacant space. Something has to fill that. And usually, not stem cell, but fibroblast will divide, make a cell, and fill this space. It could be a cell filling that space. This cell is coming from fibroblast. Or it could be filled with uh, things like collagen, elastin, and other stuff that is made by the fibroblasts. So in summary, you have three cell types. Lay-by cell, always turning over even without a damage. Stable cell turns over when there is a damage or permanent cell, no turnover from stem cell, but will be filled with some kind of uh, less useful material. And depending on what this cell type is, different mechanism will kick in to fill in that void. And this is the tissue repair process. Now let's talk about the difference between regeneration and scar formation. So tissue repair can go to regeneration or scarring, and it's a function of two things the damage and also the cell type. So the damage can be small or damage can be big. Big damage leads to scarring. Small damage can be regenerated if the cell types are lay-by cell or stable cell. or permanent cell, there's no stem cells that can regenerate them. So fibroblasts will come in and secrete collagen, elastin, and a bunch of stuff. And this process makes the scarring tissue. And let me talk about the process of regeneration. Of course, body wants to do regeneration, so it will try to do regeneration. And in this process, inflammation will open up the area. And then a lot of cells around this region, like macrophage, secrete a lot of growth factor. And this growth factor will attract vessels to get to this region because you need blood to supply things for the repair to happen. And this process is called angiogenesis. Inflammation, bunch of secretion, and angiogenesis. And angiogenesis uh, results in what's called granulation, another way of saying bunch of vessel forming. So try to regenerate. If not, it fails, then you'll end up with a scar.